Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. Today I want to show you how to make this fresh looking glass uh, with some liquid in it and some ice cubes. And we'll be using as little geometry as possible. We'll be playing with some modifiers and then I will show you the shaders I use in this particular scene. If you enjoyed this video, please leave that like, it will really help my channel to grow. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more like this in the future, please hit that subscribe and additionally bell button if you want to get notified when I release something new. And if you're new to the world of 3D and Blender and you want to become a 3D illustrator, go and check out my courses that are carefully designed to teach you beginner and intermediate skills in quickest and most effective way. For example, with the new Ultimate 3D bundle, you can go from simple cubic designs all the way to full character illustration in a matter of weeks. So if you're interested, please go check out the link in the description. Let's jump right into Empty Blender file and I want to delete this light right here. So I'll select it, press X and delete and I will save the cube for later. The default cube will again get its chance to shine. So let's just hide it here in the outliner and let's go to the side view by pressing three on an numpad. And I want to start by adding single vertex. So let's press shift A, mesh and single vert. If you don't have this option here, go into the preferences, add-ons and activate extra objects add-on. And now let's add single vert make sure you're in the vertex mode right here. And we'll start extruding. So let's press E, then Y and extrude this to the side like this. And now press E again and extrude it up. Um, we're making glass right now and we're making only half of the shape. So you can see we're starting in the middle and going to the side here and we'll complete the glass like this. So let's move this higher up maybe, something like this. And now let's press E, then Y and go inside a little bit. And here you're basically deciding on a thickness of the glass. Now let's press E again, let's go down and I want the glass to be really thick down there. So let's press E then Y and extrude it here. And if you want to align this perfectly, you can go ahead and switch to vertex snapping, press G then Y and by holding control, we can snap this here. Now let's tab out and let's go to the modifiers tab and we'll add screw modifier. And basically that's a glass for you. Um, really simple thing to do. And you have still this editable profile here that you can move around and change your shapes. So that's a very easy way how to create rotational bodies um, like that. And of course you can add a bunch of another modifier. So let's tab out and let's add the bevel modifier. And this way we can add some details. So I'll increase segments to two and reduce the amount. You can hold shift if you want smaller increments and we can create something like this here. And you can press control two to add subdivision modifier to refine this even further. So that's our glass so far. And now let's create a liquid. So let's go back to the side view by pressing three on a number that we can enable X-ray view and let's press shift A and let's add a circle. And I will leave this at 32 vertices. That's fine. Now tap into the edit mode, press S to scale and let's move this up. So press G then Z and move it up like this. It doesn't have to touch. Okay, now let's scale this up a little bit more. And now let's press F to fill and E to extrude up. And I want to go somewhere here and press S to scale up here as well. So this will be our liquid, but I want to add a little bit of a displacement up here. So let's press X and delete this face and let's alt click the loop again and press Ctrl F. Uh, for a face menu and let's choose grid fill and this way we can subdivide this even further so right click and subdivide and we can do one more um, if you're worried about um, the end guns here don't be um, it will be barely visible and we'll use auto smooth shading um, to make the sides flat so right now we can tab out and go ahead into the object data properties add a new vertex group go into the edit mode and assign these top vertices into that vertex group. Now let's go to the modifiers tab. Let's add this place modifier. And now we'll choose only that group and we'll choose only Z direction. Now let's create a new texture here, go into the texture setup and switch its type to clouds. And now you can basically adjust the size, how way we, you want this water level to be and now back into the modifiers tab and reduce the strength something like that now let's go to the object data properties once again normals and enable auto smooth right click and shade smooth you can see how the sides are smooth there are slight shading issues but due 
um, to the glass around it will be barely visible so I would probably leave it like that and now let's add some ice cubes here and the default cube enters the scene so let's unhide it select and press G then Z and move it up we can tab in scale it down a tiny bit and right click and subdivide several times you can of course increase number of cuts right here as well but when you do it like this it's exponential and you can get to quite a lot of details um, in just a few clicks now I will tab out and let's add the same displacement here as well an easy way to do that is to shift click the water level go into the modifiers tab and copy the displacement of the fire to select it now our cube is displaced as well and now we can press ctrl 1 to add that subdivision modifier and just remove the group from the modifier now if you press slash on an ampad you can go into the local mode right click shade this smooth and i will disable that x-ray and let's change the direction from z to normal and let's play with that strength and of course we can duplicate this texture go into the texture settings and play with the size and if you get these sharp corners there, you can increase the mid-level to puff it a little bit more. Okay, so that's the ice cube. And this is quite detailed, so make sure you are removing one level in the render settings. You probably won't need that. Now let's press slash again to exit the local mode. And we can press R twice to enable trackball rotation and size this and place it somewhere where it looks fine. Now I'll enable X-Ray once again and press Alt-D to duplicate this cube. Rotate it a little bit and move it down. So there are two of those. And now we can create a straw. So let's press Shift-A and let's add a single word once again. Let's look from the side here. Press E then Z to extrude it up just like that. And E then Y to extrude to the side just like this. Now select this vertex, press Ctrl shift b to bevel and increase number of cuts just like that something like six or five cuts that should be enough now let's tap out I'll press G then Z and move it up so the origin point is here at the bottom and now right click convert to curve now let's go to the curve settings geometry and increase the depth now let's tap in once again select these control points right click choose subdivide and now I will select every other by holding shift and press alt s to scale it down now we can tab out um, let's disable the x-ray view and we can right click and shade this smooth and of course we would like to see this a little bit sharper um, so let's right click convert to mesh and we can go to the normals and enable auto smooth and let's increase to something like 40 degrees and we'll probably need to move these a little bit so we catch that angle and now we can go back to the side view, press R and rotate it like this. So that's probably all about the modeling. Um, this is going through the cube, so let me move it a little bit. And now we can create some kind of bubbles down there and they'll be pretty easy. I just use spheres for that. Let's press Shift A and let's add a round cube. That's from the extra objects add-on, so you should have it there. Now go for the presets and choose quad sphere and we can go something like four subdivisions, right click shade smooth tab in make it smaller tab out and let's look from the side and we can move some of these here and we can duplicate them by pressing alt d if you want to select them a little bit better later you can press m move them into a new collection and while in the new collection everything you create here will be duplicated in that collection and you can just select objects from that particular collection that can be useful when you have a more complicated scene and now let's just move them around and scale them and we'll probably need to rotate this a little bit more so they are actually distributed in three dimensions not only from a side view and of course it helps to have a camera view so you can actually see what you get in the final render so let's press zero on the numpad and we can adjust this camera view so press g then z to move the camera up and press g then z twice to slide it back a little bit and now we can change the resolution to something like 1600 to 1200 bring it a little bit closer just like that and maybe rotate this a little bit on the z-axis and i quite like it so far so 
let's work with this let me move it here and now i'll disable the x-ray and let's play with some materials so let's go to the render settings and in the ev for the preview purposes i like to enable ambient occlusion bloom and screen space reflections but here we'll need to enable a refraction if you want to see the glass shaders in ev and now i will switch the render engine to cycles that's what i will use for the final render and enable some denoising and i will change some tiling for the better performance and reduce the overall samples so that's for the render setup so far and now let's go for a material preview i will press ctrl b and limit the render only to the camera bounds and now let's hold z and switch to material preview now select the glass and we'll create a glass shader now first thing we'll need is to add transmission you will see how this change but actually it isn't transmissive because we need to enable this for ev in the viewport display you can check the screen space refraction here as well so remember there are two places to do that you need to do that in render settings and here for each material you want to have transmission in ev and now you have transmissive material and now the default ior is 1.4 which is okay for the glass so i will leave it like that and just reduce the roughness to something like 0.1 and now i will select the water here and create the new material there and increase the transmission as well and again we'll need to enable that refraction but here i want to modify the ior to 1.333 that's the refraction index of water you want it to be lower so you can better see through and now we can reduce the roughness there as well almost to none and now for the ice i want to add that first material there and let me name them so that's glass and this liquid and for the round cubes let's select one of those i want to add the glass material as well and that will nicely simulate the water bubbles um, inside of the liquid and to better see what we're doing let's press shift a and let's add a light um, this time area light press g then z to move it up and let's increase the strength to something like 500 something really strong and let's and one last thing let's add some background let's add a plane scale it up and let's look from the camera view by pressing zero and we need to make this a little bit larger and now let's add some material for the background as well something like this and one more thing to remember about the glass um it really hates um the darker shades so make sure in the base color you go all the way to the white and same for the liquid and now to differentiate a little bit better i want to change the color of liquid to something like blue or cyan um, we'll see about that now let's look from the camera and let's preview the render view and this is not what i was looking for and most of the time when you see something like this it has to do something with normals and of course this is completely procedural there's a modifier there and there should be a way how to work with normals in the modifier itself so if you look in the screw modifier there's a normal section and you can just choose flip and this is what we are looking for now in the material settings we can further play with the ior if the distortion is too large you can always go a little bit lower um if you want to really see through um that glass but i think 1.45 uh, was good enough here and here we can play with some lighting because you can see these gray reflections that's from the world around so we can of course play with the color of the scene and colors of the light so we can for example add a point light let's press shift a and let's add a point light press g then shift z to move it back and we can light it up here um something like 150 and you can have a nice um, light and reflections um, through uh, these glass and transmissive materials like that now i will just go ahead and add some more lights probably um, to make the scene look a little bit more interesting maybe add some details um, but this is basically it and you saw how you can easily using just few vertices and few modifiers create a scene like this with a nice semi-realistic looking glass and liquid something fresh for your summer designs so i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please leave that like it will really help me and again if you're new and you want to see more please hit that subscribe Thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day.